kids. Happy Wednesday. Today we are going to continue our Lord's Prayer study. So let's say what we've learned so far. It says, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. And so that is where we are going to talk today. When Jesus taught his disciples to pray, the next thing that he told them was, forgive us our trespasses, right? So trespasses are the bad things, right? The sin, the wrong, okay? So let's think about it. Let's think about the Ten Commandments, okay? These are ten rules that God gave us that he would ask us to follow, okay? Let's see if we can name them. You shall have no other gods before me. You should not make idols, right? You should speak God's name with respect. You should set aside one day for God, right? The Sabbath. You should honor your mother, your father. You should not kill. You should be true to your spouse. You should not steal. You should not lie, and you should not want what others have, okay? Now, I want you to think carefully about these 10 rules. Have you ever disobeyed any of them? Okay, now, I haven't killed anyone, but I know that there's been times when I've wanted what other people have had. I know there's been times when I haven't told the truth and I've told a lie, right? And I bet you guys can think of some of these that you haven't kept as well, right? Do you think it's a big deal if we disobey some of these rules? Why or why not? Okay, God has told us to do some things very clearly, right? These are among them. Loving God is another. Loving our neighbor is another. These are things that, as his followers, as human beings, we're supposed to do. What do you think happens when you disobey God? What do you think God does when we break these rules? Okay, when we break God's rules, that's called sin. Okay, and even if it seems like not that big of a deal to us that we weren't very honest with our parents or Maybe we stole something that was little and no one will ever know. God knows. God sees that, right? God is perfect, right? And he can't be around that sin. He, he wants to be with us. He loves us. But sin is not something that God wants for us, okay? And when we sin... It messes up our relationship with God, right? When we break God's laws, it messes that up, right? And just like it can be hard to talk to a friend when you know you've done something that you shouldn't have done that was going to hurt them, it can be hard to be close to God for the same reasons when you know that you've done things that you're not supposed to do. But you know what? God forgives us. We don't have to be separated from God. We don't have to be alienated from God. We ask God for forgiveness. And God sent Jesus to show us that we can have that forgiveness, right? John 3.16 says, God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that everyone who believes in him won't perish, won't be separated from God, but will have eternal life. And then verse 17 says, God did not send his son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. So these verses tell us that Jesus is God's son, right? And that everyone who believes in Jesus won't be separated from God, but will always live with God close, right? We'll always have God close. Those sins, those bad things that we all do, right? They don't have to keep us separated from God. Jesus forgives us. Jesus offers us that forgiveness, right? 
and it says that we can be saved through him. Okay? So, let's see what else. The Bible says that we all do things that we know that are wrong, right? We've already thought about the ways we've broken God's rules, and we've learned that we can ask God to forgive us, right? It says right in the prayer, and forgive us our trespasses. We ask God to forgive us for the things that we've done. The reason that we can forgive is because of Jesus, right? When we pray for forgiveness, it is Jesus that takes away those sins. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, we have all sinned and we want to be forgiven. Thank you for forgiving us. Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross. And thank you for your life. And thank you for taking away our sins. We love you very much. Amen. Now, I hope that um, you will notice that the Lord's Prayer is something that we say frequently, right? And that Jesus taught us this prayer. And it's not just a one-time thing. We don't just ask for forgiveness one time. We need to ask God's forgiveness when we know we've done things that aren't the way God wants us to live. But we are also thankful that we have God's forgiveness, right? We just have to ask. Have faith. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.